Hello and welcome back to this series on Factorio. Uh, we're running through a few key game concepts and I'm hopefully teaching you a thing or two. Now, in this episode, we're going to look at green science. Now, very early on in the game, you'll notice that you need it. Um, basically, I've, I've researched a couple of things. So I've researched automation one and two, electronics, which gives us the smart inserters, logistics, which is the underground belts, fast inserters, which are incredibly handy, and splitters, which I love. Um, optics, military, and armor crafting. Uh, apart from that, the only others are really steel processing, turrets, and uh, you know some, some upgrades to, to bullet damage and, and things like that. Apart from that, you're going to need green science, though, very quickly. So what I'll do is I'll just set uh, steel processing going. Um, so it's doing something while I'm talking. Now, over here, what we're going to need to do to create green science, we need two things. We need transport belts and inserters. Now, obviously, there's a few steps before that. Now, the first thing we'll tackle is the transport belts because they're very easy. So what all we need... Wow, that was quick. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just set... Um, advanced electronics to go. So what we're going to need to do is firstly uh, I'll just run through what I'm doing here. Now I've I've changed the build around so it's a little bit more game like. I've got uh, assemblers creating red science for the for the labs up here. I'm creating gear wheels and what I've done is I've introduced splitters. Now that will guarantee that half the material um, from before the splitter will actually make it into this pipeline. Okay, so that's guaranteeing that half's going to come over here and half's going to come over here. Now, what I want to do is create another splitter, and you'll see why shortly. Because gear wheels absolutely eat your iron plate supply. So we'll do that here, like this. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab that, like that and that like that. Now we're going to need some fast inserters and also an iron chest. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce something I like to call buffer storage. Now buffer storage is trying to create it so that the system can absorb you know fluctuations in supply. I'll just queue this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get iron plate from here, we're going to put it in here, change it into gear wheels and then throw it in this iron chest. It's going to make you know, quite a few of them. I'm going to restrict the amount of uh, gear wheels that it can build to that many. That should be enough for us. So we don't want to make too many. Okay, we'll stop that there. And now the next thing we need to do is run a line over here and up and into our uh, assembler that will create our transport belts. So it's going to require a gear wheel and an iron plate. When I power all of this up, it'll all start working, hopefully. I could probably do that a little bit better. Just like that. Okay. So as you can see, very, very fast. As you can see here though, this supply, it'll maintain the supply to here. Now I want to do something else here as well, because I want to maintain my throughput of iron to each part of this supply, of, of not this supply, this uh, logistics chain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it to here. Now what we're going to just do is out of this factory, we're going to throw all of these all of these transport belts onto a belt because they're going to come over and down and we're going to create green science with them now I feel that what we'll do is we'll just make a basically a mirrored layout and do it that way as you can see our iron supply has really slowed up now
and I could increase production but I'm not going to no, actually I will while we're here because this, this is kind of the, the crux of the game you end up building a lot of things and just improving upon it and making it better and then discovering that you've got a new problem and making that better it can uh, can be quite challenging at times so I'll just throw all of these down, grab these inserters and the next problem will probably be that I don't have enough uh, mining capacity to actually run all of these so we'll see what happens okay we'll just pick this one up we should be okay okay now to create our inserters we're going to need a couple of things, we're going to need gear wheels for starters we're going to need electronic circuits, nextly, and we're going to need uh, also electronic uh, iron plate. Sorry. So I'm going to change my layout a little bit because I've got my gear wheels being built over here already. What I'll do is I'm just going to grab them straight out of there and put them into my factory that's going to build my inserters. Okay. Now into here, I also need to get my iron plate and my circuits. So we'll grab some more iron plate. Gee whiz, really not enough at the moment. Let's get some more mining going. Now what I'll do is I'll just change this a little bit that there like that, and that there like that, and that there like that. And I'll show you why shortly. Now what I can do is just feed things in randomly and it will put it on the right side of the belt. Now this is all kind of ugly. I normally try and do things a bit prettier than this, but uh, there's been a rush and I'm just trying to demonstrate various um, aspects of the game. <laughs> We'll try and keep it simple. Okay. So now what we're going to need is a few more things. I'll pick this up for the moment. So this is going to be our electronic circuits. And we're going to direct insert this. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to use the same sort of idea that we used above. And that is put our circuits into a box first. Okay. So, problem I'm seeing right now, I'm going to tell you for a fact, we're not going to have the capacity required to run all of this at a speed I'm going to like. So we're going to have to come back and we're going to have to upgrade our production in order to cope with it all. Now, we'll use this then here. Now the reason I'm direct inserting a lot of these things and putting them into boxes is later in the game we'll be able to take advantage of the inserter stack bonus where the inserters can pick up multiple of an item and put it into a, a box or into a factory rather a, an assembler now that will need to come this way like this okay what we'll do is we'll just introduce yet another splitter splitter oh, I'm going to need some copper here we are because what I want to do is ensure that my later items do actually get some iron plate out of this. Namely, my, uh, my inserter production. Okay, so that's that. Now the other thing that this is going to require is 
copper coil. So the way we're going to do this is I've kind of built myself into a hole here. And the way I'd really like to do it is similar to this again. Hmm. How am we going to do it? I'm just going to pick all of this up for a moment. And change it around a little bit. Because that's what you'll spend a lot of time doing. In order to get things how you like them. Now we're going to need fast inserters here. They do require a lot of copper cable. So there we go. That's the copper cable. So what we'll do is we need to grab it from there. We'll put it in there. And this will grab two of these. And we'll also need to grab one or two of these. Okay, that's all sorted. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere, and the this part of the factory is starting to take shape. So we'll go down here like this. So I believe this is the only thing that requires actual copper in the entire line. Okay, so like that we will start the build process for all of this okay so we need a fast inserter here and what I'll do with this part is I will run it underground here to here actually will that reach though it will. Happy with that. Here we go. So right now I'm just doing this build basically on the fly and making up as I go along. I haven't got a real plan in mind. I'm just, uh, I know what I need to do and uh, I'm just doing it how I, uh, how I'm coming up with it basically. This will be none too efficient, but I feel that uh, it's a good demonstration of how everything works. So there we go. We've got our inserters being created, and our uh, our transport belts being created, and everything's running along smoothly. We're also maintaining our supply of the various um, constituent parts, and what I'll do is I'll just unlock these things now. That's already unlocked. So that's running along smoothly. That's wonderful. What I want to do is just introduce a s splitter here to make sure that the the later um, item still, or namely the uh, assembly machine, still can build. That's what we're after. Okay, so basically, this is just going flat out, which is great. We're going to need lots of lots of these. You'll notice that it can't really keep up with it when it's running. But that's okay. Okay. So now we need to get all of these uh, these items into our uh, into our assemblers so that they can start making our green science. And that's where it needs to go. There. And all we do is set it up, set it going. Very easy, um, very straightforward. We've now got Green Science up and running. Right, I'll just check that all this is working, seems to be. Now, as you can see, um, 
the splitters are working to distribute our, um, our iron plate to all of the different parts you see that the latest things still do have um, the raw material even though we've got some really heavy users up front if you were to avoid using splitters in this situation you know it'll work you just need some really really massive um, production to force the raw material past these heavy users and into the the later stages of uh, of the factory now from here what I would normally do is increase my capacity to build green science and I'd probably actually box up some some uh, transport belts because they're really handy we're going to need lots of them as the factory grows but uh, thank you for joining me that's been uh, green science it's been um, a good challenge um, we've come up with a really interesting layout on the fly um, no doubt check out the forums um, there's some really cool layouts where they um, they, they judge the ratios and get it running really super fast um, this is a bit of a just a basic factory that'll that'll get you started um, you can see how how it all moves and it all works um, right now uh, if I was to improve upon this what I would do is actually increase our iron plate production because we just don't have enough we can see that that's this is waiting for it this is waiting for it everything's kind of waiting for iron plate so I'd get that sorted but uh, in the next episode, I'll run through some more key concepts of the game of Factorio, but thank you for joining me in this one, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.